What's up everybody? Welcome to another DP tubs video. Today we're going to be doing three shower units, tub showers, tubs and showers, and they're all going to be fiberglass. It's in a vacant unit. We've got a bathtub shower unit, this oversized bathtub, and then we have a stand-up shower stall. All right, with this particular customer, I'm gonna be removing all of the shower fixtures. I'm not gonna be removing the drain just because it's too worn out and I'm not a plumber. So we're gonna look at getting a glue-on drain cover for that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop off all of these shower fixtures here in the shower unit, take off the handheld shower head and get it ready for prep. So I'm going to do the same thing on the oversized bathtub. I'm just going to take off the fixtures. The actual spout the customer is going to keep just because there's limited access underneath. Um, it's a mobile home, so there's a lot of space under the, sh the bathtub. But as far as like access like uh, around the apron of the tub, it's very limited. So we're just going to leave it. He's just going to get new universal fixtures um, to go on top. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done. Then I'm going to take the shower fixtures and the shower door off of the shower stall. So you can score along the shower track with a utility knife and a blade or a scraper. Here I'm using just a scraper. Help has arrived. Yay. So this tub was in fairly good condition. So Tina, my wife, just came and rinsed it, cleaned it, and now it's ready for sanding. Boom. Tina's gonna get ready to use 120 grit on the orbital and sand this all down. Once it's all sanded, she's gonna get just water, just rinse it with water, and then start taping and masking. Here she's taking just sandpaper and hand sanding any areas that she could not get with the orbital. So right now what she's doing is what we call a dry wipe where she takes all the dust from the sanding, goes ahead and wipes it down, kind of gathers it up to the bottom of the tub so she could vacuum it up. So right now what we're doing is a wet rinse. She's just gonna rinse it with water, wipe it down, and then get it ready for taping and masking. As you can see, she's starting with the blue tape around the perimeter. So here I am over in the other bathtub shower unit. I'm just gonna start cleaning. I'm just using a regular bleach cleaner. Sometimes I'll just use water, uh, but I'll use a sponge, and sometimes I'll also use wet sandpaper 120 grit to go ahead and scrub off all of the soap scum before I do any sanding with the orbital.
right, so here I'm going to fill some holes with some caulking just to act as backing. This is not going to be what I'm going to use to completely secure them. I'm just going to put the caulking in as some backing. That way I can put some Bondo over it um, once it sets up a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and mix up some of the Bondo. So this is just your standard Bondo you get at AutoZone, and it comes with a cream hardener. So you're going to apply the cream hardener around the basically the, across the diameter of the Bondo, and then you're just going to mix it up. I just mix it, and then I fold it. It's very important that you fold it like that. Just keep folding it. And then I'm going to apply it over the holes as well as some other areas where there was silicone removal that may have scratched the surface. I'm going to go ahead and fill that as well um, before I go ahead and sand and then primer. Definitely recommend this if you're going to use an over-the-counter primer. This is basically not for adhesion. It's mainly for um, helping me determine if I'm going to have any fish eyes. Uh, kind of like a sealer, stain blocker. That's what I use it for here. Not using the Euro Epoxy Primer from Resurface Solutions, which I normally use. Um, just, just choice. Um, depends on preference. I'll use that a lot with tile to help seal the grout. And also keep in mind that I've already sanded this with the orbital like we did on the bathtub. Um, I just didn't get a recording of it. Sometimes I just don't get recordings. Um, as you're going to see coming up, I didn't record spraying the bathtub shower unit, uh, but I did get the primary. So, so here I am going to go ahead and start spraying the first coat on the bathtub. You're going to see me spraying this bathtub as well as the shower and uh, with a few coats and then we'll show the final after. Now keep in mind you guys, if anyone here is watching as a professional would like to have some coaching uh, Q&A session on Zoom, feel free to message me and we'll go over the rates or I'll send a link where you can go to a website and check out your options for a one-time Zoom meeting consultation or we could do a monthly reoccurring coaching. Um, definitely beneficial. We have quite a few right now that are perfecting and just kind of improving their refinishing skills as well as their business startup many questions that relate to business startup i can answer anything for you mm -hmm. 